Hello, my name is Squirrelix. I tend to ramble, so today I brought along a guidebook. Today we're going to be talking about the reignited content. Just how much are we getting? What should we expect? Are we being picky? <sighs> Let's discuss. In Spyro 1, Sparks used to have blue... When he was blue, it had taken just one hit. He would throw up rainbow uh, little fizzles. I think it would be cool for that to come back in a subtle way. If it's not the second state when he's blue, if he's just strictly blue, no any any rainbow little particles at all, maybe they could throw that in as the fourth one in the third game when you get that power up and you get that extra hit and sparks and he would sort of glow a little bit extra. They could add a little rainbow um, particle effect, just so subtle. Um, I am excited to see what the DLC could possibly be. You know, Stormy has sent, um, if we have an equivalent, you know, of unused content from the Crash fan base that made it to their final product, why can't I be hopeful for the same of, of Spyro? So I am, um, I'm hoping for the dragonfly eggs to be incorporated in the first game and maybe even the second and third. I mean, just, I believe it was one or two per level, so having those sort of added in. The second game incorporated cheat codes. They could very well stretch that to other games as well. Um, the first and the second, you know, Big Head Spyro. Spyro is pink now. Maybe they'll just replace it with other characters. Maybe they'll come up with some new cheat codes. Maybe they'll throw in some old classic models. Can you imagine if sort of Super Mario 64 style, a Super Mario Odyssey style, they could do something like that where you can unlock maybe the money bags or something like that. So yeah, definitely exciting what you can add with cheat codes, which you could possibly add with DLC. Um, then the second game, we see about eight or so enemies that are deceased in the Avalar Kingdom. Um, so that leaves characters that you could outright add to DLC, a DLC realm or world or worlds or a speedway. Or <clears throat> I guess I'm not really excited for a DLC speedway, but I mean, if it's good, it's good. In the third game, there is an extra cutscene that is cut from the original release of the game. So, in my head, I was like, oh, things you could include that were cut. It wasn't cut outright. All of the additional releases have that cutscene, so I don't think that even counts as cut material. If they do release the game, just strictly a... HD remake, no frills, nothing extra, that's great of course. I will be endlessly just in nostalgia blind fest the entire time, but that could be great news um, in regards to maybe not wanting to use all of their content right out of the gate for Spyro um, the HG remake. But, you know, they said they spoke really closely with Insomniac Games, so maybe they have access to private knowledge, private characters, models, something, some sort of resource that they'd be able to whip together into some DLC. Um, and the great news is they can, they don't even have to, you know, if it doesn't come out with the uh, initial release, that's the whole point of DLC. So all of these ideas that we have um, just because we're not seeing them in the stuff they're releasing does not mean that we're never going to see them. Um, so, very exciting.